Welcome to an overview of the LPC-1770 and LPC-1780 series of Cortex-M3 microcontrollers. This presentation will give a basic introduction of the features of these microcontrollers, the Cortex-M3 core, and the supporting tools infrastructure. NXP's strategy is clear, a 100% focus on ARM-based microcontrollers. NXP allows customers to choose the ARM core that is best suited for their application and is the only supplier to offer the Cortex M0, M3, and M4 cores. Furthermore, NXP's LPC microcontrollers give customers maximum design flexibility by offering pen and software compatible solutions across product series and even across different ARM cores and by offering the largest selection of peripherals, customers can find a microcontroller that is well-suited for their application. The LPC-1700, which includes the new LPC-1770 and LPC-1780 series, in addition to the popular 1760 and LPC-1750 series, is based on the latest revision of the ARM Cortex-M3 core. The M3 core was designed for both performance and power in embedded applications. It utilizes a Harvard architecture with a three-stage pipeline and uses both thumb to and thumb instructions. It supports hardware divide and single cycle multiply and offers fast deterministic interrupts with the built-in NVIC. The M3 core also has advanced integrated low power modes and an optional memory protection unit. The M3 core also has advanced integrated low power modes and an optional memory protection unit included on all LPC-1700 MCUs that improves the reliability of an embedded system by protecting critical data used by user applications. The LPC-2300 and LPC-2400 series of ARM7 from NXP are one of the most popular microcontroller series in our portfolio. The LPC-1700 series offers pin-compatible options to those ARM7 MCUs, allowing customers to easily evaluate the M3 core and migrate their application code quickly and efficiently. The LPC-1770 and 1780 series bring 120 MHz performance to all series members and continues offering NXP's advanced matrix bus that allows maximum bandwidth for USB, Ethernet, and LCD. As with all NXP Cortex-M3 microcontrollers, these series include the standard Cortex-M3 features, like the nested vectored interrupt controller and JTAG debug but they also include optional Cortex-M3 blocks, such as the memory protection unit, wake-up interrupt controller, and JTAG trace. Most competitive M3 microcontrollers do not include these optional blocks. These microcontrollers feature a wide range of system functions, including a low-voltage two-stage brownout detector, power-on reset, watchdog timer, and a CRC engine that provides memory content validation for safety-critical applications. The microcontrollers also feature a flexible 8-channel DMA for peripheral-to-memory, memory-to-peripheral, peripheral-to-peripheral, and memory-to-memory -memory transactions. Each MCU has two phase-locked loops, one for the main clock and a second one to generate the 48 MHz required for the USB. Finally, there is a 12 MHz internal RC circuit that is 1% accurate over the entire voltage and temperature range, eliminating the need of an external crystal in many applications. The LPC-177X 8X series of MCUs offer up to 512 KB of on-chip flash. Due to NXP's proprietary flash memory accelerator, Customers can run code from flash up to 120 MHz, with nearly the same performance as running from RAM. Additionally, the RAM, with up to 96 KB on chip, is broken into three distinct blocks, 
which allows different bus masters to access separate portions of RAM simultaneously. This intelligent architecture of the NXP MCUs is the reason they outperform the competition on the EEMBC benchmarking. Another differentiating feature of the NXP Cortex M3 MCUs is the 4 kilobyte of true on-chip EEPROM that is designed for data capture and user configuration information. Lastly, the chips include some factory programmed ROM for easy to use in-system and in-application programming. These microcontrollers feature a large number of communications interfaces. The parts have a 10100 Ethernet Mac and a full-speed USB port, supporting host, device, and on-the-go operation. Because of NXP's flexible multi-layered bus structure, the LPC 1770 and 80 series are able to run the Ethernet and USB simultaneously without bottlenecks. The LPC 1770 and 1780 series have an external memory controller to connect up to 32 bits of external parallel flash. The LPC 1780 series has an LCD controller for TFT and STN panels with resolutions up to 1024 by 768. This is a unique peripheral only found on Cortex-M3s from NXP. Other communication peripherals include one Fast Mode Plus I2C operating at up to 1 MHz, along with two 400 kHz I2C, three SSP SPI ports, and five UARTs that support features such as RS-485, 9th bit address detection, modem control, IRDA, smart card interface, ISO 78163, and synchronous mode, also known as USART. Finally, there are two CAN interfaces, I2S audio interface, and an SDMMC memory controller interface. These series feature a large number of clocks and timers for design efficiency and flexibility. There are four 32-bit timers, each with eight capture inputs and four compare outputs and some can generate DMA requests for timed memory-to-memory -memory transfers. There are two standard PWM blocks with seven match registers for up to six single-edge controlled or three double-edge controlled PWM outputs, or a mix of both types. These PWMs can be used as standard timers if not needed for PWM generation. There is also a repetitive interrupt controller which is a free-running 32-bit counter to generate an interrupt that repeats at predetermined intervals. The size stick timer creates a 10 millisecond interval to drive real-time OS or scheduled tasks. The real-time clock, or RTC, has 20 bytes of battery-backed storage for data retention in deep power-down states, a dedicated battery power supply pin, VBAT, calibration for better than one second a day accuracy, and capability to generate an alarm interrupt at a specific date or time. The series supports a motor control PWM block that supports three-phase AC and DC motor control applications. There are three PWM match outputs with opposite polarities, edge center alignment, and programmable deadband insertion. The motor control PWM is highly configurable for other generalized timing, counting, capture, and compare applications. The Quadrature Encoder Interface, QEI, connects to an external quad encoder wheel to track position, direction of rotation, and velocity. The 8-channel 12-bit analog-to-digital converter has a conversion rate of 400K samples per second at 12 bits, 800K samples per second at 10 bits, and over 1 mega sample per second at 8 bits. It is supported by the General Purpose DMA controller and has a burst conversion mode for single or multiple inputs. The 10-bit digital-to-analog converter has a maximum update rate of 1 MHz with selectable speed versus power and a buffered output. One reason ARM has become the fastest-growing 32-bit architecture in the world is the broad ecosystem of tools and support available. 
The LPC 1770 and 80 series are supported by two evaluation boards, Embedded Artists and IAR, and are available through NXP's distributors. The devices are also supported by a number of IDE and compilers, including but not limited to ARM, Code Red, Hitex, IAR, Embed, and of course, NXP's LPC Expresso. For debugging, the series are supported by any JTAG debugger that supports Cortex-M3.